Hold on. RPK! RPK! There we go. Yeah, I like that a lot. I like having two light machine guns is a lot of fun when you pack a punch them. <laughs> the problem is once you run out of ammo, it's just, it's annoying. Because not only do you have no ammo, I mean, obviously that's the worst part, but the hard part is judging which gun to get rid of. Because both of them are amazing. The HK holds more ammo, which is nice for the later zombie rounds. But in my opinion, the RPK may be a little better. It might shoot a little faster. And I think it might also do more damage. But I think that might just all be in my head. It might just be one of those mind games that, you know, sometimes you just trick yourself into believing. But, um, I really don't know. So, yeah. But anyway, back on to the other side series I'm going to be doing. I'd really appreciate if you guys gave me some feedback on that. Because I feel like it could be pretty successful. I feel like it'll be a lot of fun to do. And also one thing I left you guys the option for is because you guys are deciding the series. You guys decide every detail of it. You decide what game I'm going to be playing. You decide who I'm going to commentate with. Do you want me to solo commentary it? Do you want me to do a dual commentary with like a real life friend? Do you want me to do it with Mitch? And they don't always have to be with like, you know, like the same person. I'm not saying like that's going to be who I'm forever doing it with. That's the cool part is I have a lot of freedom with this series so I can really you know if you guys one day want me to commentate it with a friend and the next day commentate it solo and the next day commentating with Mitch I can do that maybe you want me to commentate it with my girlfriend for one video I, I can do that she said she wanted to get in the video one time which is pretty cool if you want me to commentate you know with like an Xbox Live just another director uh, I can do that whatever you guys want this whole series is really up to you guys which is why I'm I'm actually very interested in it. I want to see what you guys all have in store for me. This is actually it's kind of as much of a surprise for you guys as it's going to be for me. So I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. And I'm actually going to keep up to date with this on like a lot of my other series. Because, not going to lie, it, it actually seems like this will entertain me a lot doing. I feel like this is something that I will enjoy doing. And the thing is, when I do other serious commentaries or series series, I don't get that same enjoyment out of it. So it's not really... It's not something, you know what I mean, that I'm like... Like, I wake up and go, yeah, I want to do this. Ugh. Like, no, you know what I mean? But I do have that feeling about it, funny series, and this series I, I feel really touchingly close about. How long has this been? Have I been playing for what now? Probably like 20 minutes, so I guess for like two. Damn it, I missed the tour. I always forget. I, I don't know how to get around that pad except for dolphin diving, because stuff like that always happens. And is it just me, or is the, the golden mishishka or the nuke, doesn't that look like a... Uh, does it look like a giant football, or is that just me? I don't know. Oh, another cool thing is power-ups spawn in mid-air all around like that. They spawn all around the jump pads. I'm not sure if there's always one, but it seems like whenever I bother to look up there, there is one. So if it's not all the time, it's extremely often to the point where you should be on the lookout. Because I've honestly, I've gotten so many power-ups doing it. I think I've gotten like, I think I've been here one time, and in that one game besides this one, I got uh, two power-ups from it. And it was in a matter of like two, three rounds. So it really is quite often. It's nice. Oh my god, I gotta put my mask on. Wait a minute, what the hell? I don't have a mask anymore because I picked up the hacker? You've gotta be kidding me. How do I put my mask on? Put your damn mask on! Oh my god, I don't think I can put my mask on. Am I literally confined here for the rest of the game? I don't, I don't understand. How am I supposed to, I don't, I don't have a mask anymore. What do you want me to do, game? Oh my god, you had to trade equipment back there, didn't you? I have to go get my mask back. Holy crap. I'll do that after I'll get a crawler and try and make it. But what if there's like a... What if that room isn't protected under oxygen? I don't know if that room is protected with oxygen. Okay, yeah, the RPK does definitely shoot faster. As for the extra damage, that I don't know. It might... What the hell? He just spawned on me. But, uh... But as for the extra damage, it might just be that it shoots so quick that it appears to do extra damage. So don't quote me on that. But I gotta make my way back there. It was not worth getting the hacker. I did not know you had to trade equipment. I guess I probably should have read the fine print better. But now looking back, I think it did say, like, hey, trade equipment. You know what I mean? <laughs> probably should have read that. Oh, insta-kill. Wow, I can pack a bunch of both my guns now. This is going very well for me. Uh, I guess we'll take you out. The only thing I don't get is, I understand that they can't make him insta-kill, because that would kind of really ruin it a lot. But why can't they make it so when you have an insta-kill, you do extra damage against him? Oh god, my phone is vibrating. My phone. Probably should have put that on silent, but I mean, it's not really that disruptive, so. Let's see. Oh my god, I want insta-kill to go away so I can finally make my crawler. Alright, I feel like this guy is going to be one of the last zombies, so. Come on. Make me happy. 
Oh, I missed. Come on, make me happy. There we go. We got ourselves a crawler. All right, we're gonna pause and hang on, guys. One second, please. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. Had to take care of that. And uh, yeah, it seems like the last. Oh, there's one more. There we go. Well, you're dead. All right, so let's try and go get the mask back. I hope it's an oxygen room because if it's not an oxygen room, we are we might be at a loss for our suit, and we might actually have to remain the rest of the game here, which is annoying because I want to pack a punch. <laughs> I really badly want to pack a punch. The thing is, I feel like if I teleport quick enough, I can do it, because then I can go to Area 51 where you don't need the mask. But, uh, then I don't know if you can go back to the starting room and just re-grab another suit. I don't know if the suits are limited there, so that's one of the problems. I don't know if I can do that. But if it comes down to it where a situation where I have to, I really, you know, I don't have a choice. I gotta do it. Hold on. No, it's not there. That's where I traded my suit, I'm pretty sure. So, like, what? Am I... Am I actually screwed? And like this room's probably not oxygen protected, is it? Yeah. That room's not oxygen protected. This room is though. What the hell? Oops, sorry about that guys. So this room is oxygen protected, but the other one isn't. Oh my god. I... Yes. Well, last as long as we can with the two guns, but then we're gonna have to take a leap of faith. I think we're gonna have to go teleport to Area 51 without dying somehow. You know, without completely losing our oxygen. Then once we get to Area 51, we gotta quickly pack-a-punch our weapons. Then we gotta skedaddle out of there. You know what? I can't even go pack-a-punch with no ammo because there's so many zombies. I, got, I gotta go now. I'm gonna do it now. I might as well just do it now. I hope I don't die doing this, but I'm, I have a feeling, a bad feeling I'm gonna die doing this. And then we gotta get back to the first room. Hope that they let me get another mask. This is just a lot of hoping, and I'm not really... I don't really like that too much. This is a lot of hoping going on and not a lot of assurance. But, uh, you know, I have a feeling they wouldn't, Treyarch wouldn't screw you over that much. Although they kind of did just screw me over, but I have a feeling they wouldn't screw you over that much. So it's, this probably, you probably can do this. You can probably, I mean, I'm surprised. Why don't they just leave the mask there in case you want to trade back? Like, no trade back sees? Is that how they get rid of Is that how Treyarch rolls? All right, here we go. Taking a leap of faith here. Come on. All right. Come on. There we go. Got my oxygen on. Holy crap. I'm about to get swarmed. I think I should make two pack-a-punch trips. Because just it's hard enough surviving one round here. But two is going to be crazy. There we go. Shoot. Alright. So we got ourselves an upgraded HK. Then we should probably go get the RPK after this. Yeah, I'm just going to go make a whole full lap around. I'm sorry, guys, if that's a little inconvenient. Come on, come on. Yes, you can! <laughs> yes! Our leap of faith work. What the hell was that? What the hell is that? What is going on? What? I did not know that existed. Oh, the zombie killed himself. Oh, well. I did not know this existed, though. Wow, that's cool. Why is there vibration again? I guess at the beginning of every round it vibrates. I just never paid attention. All right, we gotta get back to the Shangri-La room because I do not feel comfortable camping here. Wait a minute, I thought I just did switch rounds. Was that the end of the round? I'm so confused. I think that we just went through another round, like that one zombie. I think it was glitch. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. I don't know. I'll just look back. That's what the vibration is. But what is that? What? What? <laughs> what is going on? Are you kidding me? So I can't go there? Is that what that's implying? What the hell is that? I've never seen that happen. I guess I've just never survived long enough for that to occur. But holy crap, holy crap, I'm gonna die. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, they're all dead. Dang, what am I gonna do? I gotta get myself juggernaut and stuff, but apparently I can't even make it over to that part of the map. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm fucked. Damn it, I got fucked by a fucking, like, buzzsaw. What is that? What is that? <laughs> I don't understand. I don't comprehend. Well, anyway, guys, I guess I was on the better side of one of my, uh, zombie gameplays, but that's really all I have in store for you guys. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you all have a good day.